Hello, my friend, and welcome back. Um, really going for it today in the robe, so don't mind me. <laughs> today, I want to talk about having a routine and also breaking the routine. So I feel as though routine really serves us in a, a lot of different ways. It helps us to have stability and to have practices and things that keep us functioning the way that we would like to function. For example, you know, if you meditate to have a meditation practice in the morning that helps you to be responsive during your day and less reactive during your day, or if you have a grounding practice, a lot of these rituals and a lot of these routines really serve us on a day-to-day -day basis. However, I think it is most important for those routines to be consistent and not perfect. Doesn't have to be 100% of the time. I'm sure that you have heard the ratio 80-20. And I feel as though that that's kind of good to stick with. And you know, you might go like a little more, maybe 90-10 or anything. The point is, is that Sometimes you need to take a break from your routine and I think that you can feel this intuitively and if, especially if you have a routine that you love and you wake up one morning and you're just not feeling doing the routine, that's okay. That's your body just wanting to take a break and wanting to change things up because what we have to remember is that life is change. Change is not the spice of life. Change is life. So when we get too into our routines without ever breaking them, it can make change hard in certain aspects because, you know, routines serve us only to a certain degree. If you are depending on your routine for safety in a way, and then when that routine is broken, your whole world kind of gets flipped upside down. You don't want to be dependent in that way. So a good way to kind of prevent that or to keep on top of that is to change it up sometimes. To not do your routine. To do your routine in a different order. To um, add something that you normally don't. To not do something that you normally do. All of these things can help you to shake it up and to not only prevent things like burnout and you know, cause sometimes you go through phases and you love something, then you hate it, which is fine. And it's definitely, definitely serves you to not just change up doing your routine or things in, it is also good to change up things in your routine. So if you want to meditate in a different way or you want to try a different breath work or, you know, like you're like, oh, I've been doing something this way for a while, but I feel like I want to change it up. Definitely feel free to change it up because there you are growing and evolving as well. So your needs could be different and you really want to just listen intuitively to what those needs are and how you can change it up to best serve yourself. So I felt that this was very fitting on a Sunday um, and I changed it up today too. I just meditated and it's in the early evening and usually I'm a first thing in the morning meditator and it just felt good to kind of more be in the flow. And I know I talked about that that is one of my goals. That is something that I am aiming to do is to live more intuitively and more in the flow of life and less in the rigidity of the human thinking mind. So I'm going to keep it kind of short today, but that was our message for the day and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Anne and I'll see you soon, my friend.